we met when we was about eight and nine um, on the schoolyard in our local neighborhood um, growing up. Yeah, you forgot something. Wait, what was that? I thought you had like the biggest crush on me. We met at a restaurant yeah. uh, in <laughs> South Boston. Uh, we were both hanging out with friends. So we, we started having good conversation and we went to a less crowded restaurant uh, for our first date. And um, I won't say that was a first date. It, it was wasn't, like it was like the first, first encounter. Meet, yeah. When I was in college, so I went to college in Atlanta and I think it was my sophomore year, um, I had put up that I was coming home for spring break on my Facebook and he wrote, oh, we should hang out. She considered me stalking her, yeah. which wasn't true. <laughs> I seen, you were, you were like, Ooh, No, I seen it was an home. opportunity, I <laughs> so I took advantage of this opportunity. She came, um, she came back into town, you know, we exchanged numbers again, and um, you know, that's where it took off. So I know everyone always says that we haven't been together that long. We got engaged nine months in, uh, but I guess once you know, you know. It's true. Yeah. yeah. This past um, June, June 2nd, which is my birthday, which is also our anniversary, um, you know, I decided that you know, I'd do it on my birthday, which is our anniversary, where she's not expecting it at all, because you know, it's supposed to be about me, and we was, um, went to go see a show down at um, Foxwoods. And she's like, oh, you want to go out? You know, since it is my birthday, she's like, oh, you want to go out? I'm like, oh, no, you know, I'm not feeling too well. You know, let's just go back to the room, you know. In my mind, I had everything already <laughs> laid out, exactly how I wanted it. You know, I just started telling her, you know, how much I love her, how beautiful she was, um, telling her how thankful I was to have her um, back in my life. Thank you for the two beautiful children that she has ga have given me. And at that point, she just started bawling out. <laughs> and bawling out, crying, saying, oh, this isn't happening. I was like, what's happening? And I'm trying to keep my cool, and then I finally got down on one knee. She left me down there for like five minutes almost. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my knee's starting to hurt now. But then I'm eventually, sorry, I was like overcome with emotion. Um, eventually, she said yes, so. I took her on a, a bike ride. I made sure there's no Wi-Fi so she wouldn't Instagram. Um, and I proposed to her halfway uh, to a winery um, along the Missouri River on the Katy Trail. Um, and then uh, afterwards we met uh, some of the family uh, at a vineyard and uh, celebrated. Yeah. It was the longest, so I think we were like five miles in and then it was about like six more miles to the winery, but my ring was at the winery. His parents had it on them and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get to the winery. <laughs> I don't even know how like to put how to describe it. I don't even have the words to you know talk about it. He's just he's just like I just know like there wasn't like a moment. It's just like who he is as a man it just made me know. You know, just like her personality, um, how she is as a mother, um, just her being as silly as she is. You know, her silly <laughs> matches my silly, um, and you know. You just know. <laughs>